So I just want to take this opportunity to tell everyone about uh, this wood book. It's identifying and using hundreds of woods worldwide. This was actually uh, over six years in the making. So basically I just took everything that made the wood database website interesting and helpful and I put it into print. So that's what this is. If you like, if you get a lot of use out of the website, um, chances are you'll probably like this book as well. And it actually uh, debuted on Amazon as one of their uh, best sellers in the book category. Well, in addition to obviously collecting wood, I also collect a lot of wood books. And I can safely say that there's no other book like this book uh, on the market. And so that's pretty much the reason why I chose to publish it because there was a, as a woodworker, there was just, I saw a lack of this kind of book. And let me explain what I mean. Basically, I see two different kinds of wood books. There's like almost two opposite poles or two ends of the spectrum on wood books. On the one side you have like hobbyist oriented books where it's just a lot of like really fancy or really nice looking pictures but there's not a lot of data, a lot of there's not a lot of useful information. And then on the other end of the spectrum is more uh, like scientific books um, where the wood is very closely studied and it's very closely analyzed and there's a lot of you know data but it's just literally pages on pages and upon pages of just charts and graphs, but there's literally like no pictures. So you, you could get a good sense for, oh, how strong is this wood in comparison to another wood or how hard is it or just all these different mechanical details of the wood, but you don't know what it even looks like. So what I wanted to do was almost join these two ends of the spectrum into one book uh, that really I believe has not been done before on this scale with this many kinds of wood. So you'll see a picture of the raw wood and then what it, the wood looks like with a finish applied. And then on some woods I'll also include an image of like an actual object that's been made out of that wood. There's also useful data like for instance um, modulus of rupture which is how much weight can it take before it will physically break a rupture. Uh, so there's just things like that or a test that they use to, me to actually measure the hardness of a wood. So it's not just, you know, borderline folklore that it's, you know, as hard as a rock or as hard as steel or whatever it is, but it's actually showing you uh, and you can compare different kinds of wood to show you exactly how hard this wood is in relation to other woods that you might know, for instance, like oak. In addition to the face grain of the wood, you'll also notice on just about every wood species uh, an end grain zoom. So it's basically just a zoomed in view of the end grain, which is almost like the fingerprints of the wood, which will help, uh, help you identify the wood. So there's also chapters on wood identification for hardwoods and softwoods. So it will help you to have uh, just reliable, repeatable identification results that you can actually articulate. It's not just kind of like this vague intuition and that it looks like this and it's like you don't really know why but it, it breaks down what each element of the wood's anatomy is and what to look for and how to tell the, the things apart. So hopefully uh, you can see uh, why this book is uh, so unique. And I would say if you get a lot of use out of the website, definitely uh, give this a look. And uh, I think that you'll uh, find a lot of use out of uh, the book as well.